Okay, so we are about to go into the Tomb of Giants. And for the Tomb of Giants, we're going to need the Skull Lantern. Because it is very dark. You can follow these markers, but it's better if you have a lantern. Then, of course, you're a bit... Um, you know, you can't use your shields. Okay, so the first thing to do here is find the first bonfire. Because it's easy to die. Oh good, I can kill these guys in one hit. That's perfect. Um, if you like using your shields, maybe you should go into the Demon Ruins and Lost Isolith first, because there's an item you can get there. A helmet, which does the same thing as the um, as the lantern. Uh, is it this way? I don't think so. Got a soul. We'll explore this place a bit better later. Also, snipers around here. There's another giant skeleton. Is it this way? I think it is. Let's see, where am I? Okay, it's this way. Alright, let me use... Twin Humanities. And we'll start kindling these bonfires all the way. No, I wanted to kindle. And one more. Perfect. And can I level up? I can. Let's add... Let's add some endurance now. Alright, let's explore this place. Okay, over here you'll meet a guy called Patches. Reason to be sane. What are you doing in the catacombs? Are you a cleric or something? Now this guy hates clerics, so say so you're not a cleric. No. Really? Hmm. Then I'd have no qualms telling you. There's a fine stash of treasure right down that hole. I found it first, but well, we're friends now. I'll split it with you. In any case, have a look. It'll shimmer you blind. <laughs> so this is very shady, but we'll do as he says. And fall into the very obvious trap. And here you, there are a couple of goodies. Soul. There's a skull lantern in case you don't have one. So if you don't have one, it's a good idea to come here first. Let's 
see, let's follow the wall, see if there's any items that I've that I may have missed. There's definitely something up here. A white titanite chunk. Now there are these bone creatures. Easily dispatched with our gigantic axe. There are a couple of knights here. And here's a familiar face. But the knights have gone hollow. And if I actually spoke with her first, but I didn't see her there, she would ask us to put them to rest. Which is what we're doing now. So this is the cleric that we met in Firelink Shrine and her two knight escorts. So if you rescue her here, you will meet her back into Indian Dead Parish, near the altar, and she will sell you miracles. And a couple more of those bone thingies. And if you leave her alone there for a, for a little while, um, she will actually be killed by Petrus. And you can actually get a hint of that from Lautrec if you pay for the hint. That way you know that Petrus is planning on killing her. But if you decide to kill Petrus, it still counts as a sin. And if and if he kills her, well, you can you can find her uh, her remains in the chapel, in the altar. I mean, after a little while, with some humanity and a pendant, I believe, and the pendant can be traded with the with the crow. For I think you can trade it for another ring of favor and protection. Not sure. Okay, so here. This is a pretty deadly place. There are a ton of those big skeletons. Uh, let's try... Hmm. So if you're okay with dying, you can go there and just rush it. Otherwise, you might want to be a bit more careful. That there are a lot of them here and you can aggro them pretty easily. a large divine ember. Let's get the lantern back up. Because I can't see anything otherwise. I should have gone into Lost Isolith first and get the helmet. That would have been a, a wiser decision. I knew I wanted to go do the Tomb of Giants last for a for a specific reason. Let's climb back up.
This is oh, dropped a long ball. Okay, so the plan here is not to fall and die. It's very important. Get rid of these. We'll pick these items up on our way back. I think we're done. That's the place where Pinwheel was, so let's go back down. Okay, so let's jump here and get that. Three more eyes of death. A large soul, and there was another item here. Another large soul. So this is the way to the bonfire. And let's go have a chat with our little friend Patches. Oh, you! I... Well, let's just calm down. Talk about things. I did you wrong, but I didn't mean it. These temptations, they can, well, overcome me. You know what I mean, don't you? Please, forgive me. You and me, we're jolly undead outcasts, aren't we? All right, I'll forgive you. Oh, brilliant. A second chance. Wonderful. I had a feeling you'd understand. I did. But uh, if I were in your shoes, ooh, who knows what I'd have done. But now we're friends again, eh? <laughs> Okay, now he'll go back to Firelink Shrine and he he will turn into a merchant. I still have a bunch of Astus of Astus left, so let's venture forth deeper into the Tomb of Giants. Okay, so over here, that creature is extremely dangerous. Can it? Deals a ton of damage, so I'm gonna try and kill it in one shot. With a jumping attack to deal as much damage as I can. And if I'm not mistaken, there should be a Black Knight here somewhere, so... Let's do what we usually do. Let's get lighter, so we can use our uh, gold ring let's get max health I hear him I think there he is It's a halberds. Okay, let's go out of the range of the archer. I uh, hit hit the damn wall. Didn't get the halberds. A shame. Okay, back to our setup. Q. 
kill this. Oh boy, he actually aggroed me. That could have been dangerous. Especially since I'm not using a shield. There should be... is there another one? Okay, I think we're clear. And there's a soul here. And also... If you fall... sit down here. I can't remember. Uh, do I have... One of those thingies. Ring skull. Where is it? Oh, I don't have them yet, damn it. Okay, there's there's a couple of items that you can throw down and they will light your way. Guess I'll have to face check it. Okay. We're good. Over here you can get the silver covetous snake ring. Serpent ring. And that'll boost your the souls you gain from defeating enemies. Which is pretty nice. By 20%, I think. Okay, now to leave. How do I get out of here? So I'll have to jump. Okay. Over here, there's also another bonfire. So let's get... This is the final bonfire between the boss, so if you didn't kindle the one back there, because you didn't want to, you'll want to kindle this one. And one more. Oh, uh, by the way, something I forgot to mention. If you're deep into the catacombs and you want to leave for some reason, to get an item or something, um, you'd best wait until you find the first bonfire of the Tomb of Giants, because uh, you can't warp to a single catacombs bonfire. Pretty sure of that. Let's see if I missed any items. Okay, that's where the archer is and all of his friends. And over here, there's an effigy shield. There's nothing else here, so let's go down again. Oh, by the way, can I can I level up? I can, so more endurance. Let's 
kill this. Again, getting endurance is pretty helpful. Because not only do you get more equip loads, but you get more stamina. And that will help you get land um, do more attacks. I'm not sure about this. I don't think the stamina increases past 40 endurance. And you, st and um, well, at, at 40 you start getting diminishing returns from every stat. Ow. Anything here? I don't think so. of a brave warrior. Now for the next part you'll want to be in human form because we'll get invaded by an NPC. Actually let me heal. And we won't be needing this skull lantern anymore. So back to the flame and the shield. There's also crystal lizard here. Come on, hit him! Damn it, I kept hitting the wall. So here's Paladin Leroy. I think you can actually summon this guy for pinwheel. But I never summon him because pinwheel is weak. Okay, he's dead. Okay, we get a bunch of souls, humanity. And you also get his weapon, Grant. It's a faith weapon. I think you'll need 50 faith to be able to wield it. It's a... Well, it's a heavy weapon, like this axe that we're using. Oh! Well, that was close. I hit the jump button again, by mistake. So we missed the crystal lizard, but again, you can just go get it. Um, you can kill him if you just go back to the main menu and then re-enter the game. It'll respawn in the same place. Actually, I think I'm going to get him. Just hold on a moment. There he is. Managed to hit him this time. Okay, two Twinkling Titanites. Again, you can equip the... And two White Titanite Chunks, was it? You can equip the Gold Ring to increase your chances of getting extra items. Like the Titanite Chunks we just got. He'll always drop the um, titan Twinkling Titanites. I'm gonna kill this guy first. And the bone thingy that escaped is now behind us. Alright, here. There are several pinwheels. Uh, 
and an item here. Soul of a hero. So if we go down here, we'll be attacked by skeleton babies. The skeleton babies just continuously respawn, so... There's not really any point in killing them. I think you can farm humanity from them. I'm not sure about that. This is not enough to kill him in one hit. We'll get that item once we clear this place of pinwheels. Because I'll have to use a strong attack. Is this clear? I think it is. Okay, let's collect the loot. Another soul of a hero. Down here. There should be a white titanite slab. Okay, and a chunk. Alright. Time to go for the fog door and face Grave Lord Nito. Okay, so before we begin, a couple of things. So, Gravelord Nito is not alone, there are a bunch of skeletons with him. There are small skeletons, there are big skeletons. You can fight without aggroing the big ones. If you don't move too far away from your starting position. The skeletons will continuously respawn, unless you use a divine weapon. And they will, they will die once Gravelord Nito dies. So you can either kill them with the, the divine weapon, or be a man and just tank Gravelord Nito while the skeletons are hitting you, because he sometimes will do an AoE attack, and he takes out the skeletons. He, 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 take, he takes out the skeletons with, with with that attack too, but they will respond. But uh, it's a nice break from their constant onslaught. Um, you can also use the ring that I. Got... where is it? The Slumbering... The Slumbering Dragon Crest Ring Mixed with the Ring of Fog, which I do not have. The Ring of Fog you can get it from the... Uh, Forest Covenant, the Forest Hunter Covenant. From Alvina the Cat, once you reach... Um, once you kill three invaders in PvP, I think. I'm not sure about the number, but that ring makes you transparent and a bit harder to see. So if you combine those two, you're um, you're stealthier, and that can make so you can just uh, pull Grave Lord Nito alone without aggroing any skeletons. They will aggro if you get too close. You are not invisible. All right, I think that about covers it. So let's jump right in. Also, you gotta heal once you begin, because you'll lose half your health jumping in this pit. There he is. Again, remember, um, if you want to progress in his covenant, you'd better do so before you kill him. Okay, so he has a couple of attacks. Uh, if you hear a scream, that means he's about to use a sword on you. The sword bursts from the ground. So at the end of the scream, you should dodge. Otherwise, you'll take damage. Okay, here he is. 
He also has a bit of a blind spot on this side. Oh, I should have activated my power within. Okay, he's prepping for the AoE attack. So he just took out some skeletons. But they'll be back. He also deals... Oh, is he dead? Oh, he's dead. His attacks also deal um, toxic damage. So be careful about that. Once the meter gets full. Okay, so Gravelord Nido is dead. And here we can find... After you kill the invading NPC, you can find Paladin Leroy's armor. I think I'll equip that. It's pretty nice armor, medium armor, and it looks cool. Even though I still fat roll with it. We'll get a bonfire, no need in uh, kindling this one. Let's get some more endurance. Still nothing. My equipment is pretty heavy. Let's get out of here. Back to Firelink Shrine. 